Good morning, guys. Today, I have 75 million things to do, but I'm going to try to do a creek video first. I got to finish all this. Got to finish cleaning this porch. Clean this sidewalk. I got paint. But I can't hardly, can't hardly get motivated until I go catch a smallmouth. So I'm gonna go, did something yesterday, and I'm gonna be cheating today. Uh, I've got minor traps set in some contributory creeks that lead out to the main river. I'm gonna go check those, and I'm gonna be fishing with live bait for creek smallmouth. Uh, I'm gonna try to be a little bit more explanatory with this one. Tell you all exactly how you can catch fish like this if we catch them. How you can do it, how easy that is. This is the easiest fishing you could possibly do. Uh, kind of sick. Got the allergy cold bug going on. It's not that Corona 19, so. Anyway, we've got a lot to do, but let's go catch one first. How to catch these uh, little creek chubs, creek minners, whatever, <laughs> is very easy. All you need is a fray bill minnow trap that's all you need uh, some rope or chain and all I do is I take a hamburger bun hot dog bun whatever this is actually a brioche hamburger bun uh, the brioche makes a better dough ball uh, where it's where it's moisture and it lasts you a lot longer in your minnow trap all you do is take a small piece like this and you wad it up tight you wad it up tight throw it in put that in your minnow trap just like that fill it full you want 20 to 30 dough balls in your minnow trap and i set three of these yesterday that have been uh, they've been in the creek for probably 12 hours now I set them yesterday evening so I've got three out uh, I'm gonna use whatever I think we need whatever I don't need we'll go back I'll just I'll just dump them out so let's go check these traps let's go catch some fish see ya Got our minner bucket. <coughs> we are at the first location where I put the put the minner traps at. This is usually a good little spot. Several people know about it. No, we'll have to see what we got. Looks like all the bread is gone. I don't know. I see the trap, but I don't see any bait in it just yet. But we shall see. And we got nothing. Nothing in that one. I don't see any in it either. They ate all the food. None got trapped. Nothing there either. So. 
0 for 2 on the first spot. Guess we'll try the last spot. <clears throat> So, we are at our third and final trap. So if they're not here, we got to go to plan B. See what's up. Well, I think we got some. Look at all that. Y'all see them? Look at this. Hope y'all can see that. There's minners everywhere. And I got, mm, might be a dozen. Guess what? We gonna use them. And bring them up out of the water. So we've made it to the fishing spot and it is that little, oh, let me walk over. We're going to be fishing spiderweb. We're going to be fishing at this spillway today. It may be noisy and we are right by the road so I apologize for the noise I'm going to have to dub some music over top i don't know just yet they did do this new berm wall so i don't it may have messed up the fishing but that's the plan take these creek chubs go down and smoke some fatties let me show you how i get rigged up so i start with a small bait holder hook do my palomar that's it the hook Just a hook, no sinker. We're going weightless. We've got light pound test, probably, I think this is six pound test, uh, mono. Six pound test, monofilament. Try to catch one. We're cheating today. Live bait. Tell me that don't look like a big small mouth honey hole. Ok. 
Okay. So the best way to rig these up, let's go. Look, I'm gonna show you the size of this, and this is kind of small for how we generally fish. I'm not even joking. The best way to rig these up is up through the nostril, through the mouth, out the nostril. And that's how big that bait is. Big Creek Smollies. Let's go. Already getting hit. What I'm doing is just watching my line that bait's out there just free swimming it doesn't have a weight doesn't have just the hook it can move on its own it can go where it wants to i'm gonna let it do the work uh, it came off There is a possibility that our smallmouth here are on the nest. I don't know, our weather's been so janky, but at least we're, there's some action, look there. A water snake coming right at us. Got one. Oh, let it go. Okay. Dumb water snake got me distracted. Goodbye. Since our bait is kind of small. I want to put a little weight. Just a little, I'm going to put a little split shot, about 12 to 16 inches up. See if that don't do anything. We just had, we just missed one, so I don't know. We're probably gonna get hung up too doing this, but no, I kind of felt like it might put the bait down in front of them a little better. There we go. Okay. Look how pretty that water is. bring him in right through the top right where you want them a little small mouth look how pretty that fish is though beautiful fish man small but still Looks like putting them a little bit deeper on the bottom. It has been cold, putting them a little deeper is gonna be where it's at. So I'm gonna leave the leave the weight on and hopefully that's just the first of many. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful. Mm. He gone. Looks like our buddy over there is going artificial. 
Uh oh. Just got thumped. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a better one. That's a better one. Oh, yeah. That guy crushed it. I'll try to get some underwater footage of him fighting, but oh well. This is a fatty. There we go. Let's look at this guy. Look at that. He's getting a little bigger. Look at the gut on him. Oh, he's bleeding. He didn't even have him that bad. All right, we ain't gonna fool around. He's bleeding a little, so. Let's put him back. Oh, straight off. Good deal. Use another piece of bait. Guys, I'm telling you, the funnest and the easiest way to catch these big creek, and we've not caught a big one yet, I'm not saying, but if you want to catch a big river smallmouth, do what I did. Get you a minter trap, set it in one of your small streams, and get you some chugs. I'm telling you, they cannot, they can't not eat it. And this little piece of bait is feisty to be so little. All I'm doing is casting right at the edge of that, the swift, where you see all the white bubbles, I'm casting right on the edge. That's where those fish set up to eat. That's where they ambush. That's where they, anything that comes over that wall, they're eating it. That is the spot. If you've got little waterfalls, and, any, and this is good for any creek. If you've got any waterfalls, any calm little pooling areas, that's where those fish are gonna be set. Nine times out of 10 anyway. Now, if our, if our buddy wasn't over there, I would switch sides and try that side with some live bait, but I'm not gonna crowd him. Generally, I stand on that little island over there and cast both sides, but the water is a little up and you can't. Got one. Oh! Had one on her that whole time, man. Think honestly that our fish are starting to nest. And that's why this bite is not epic, but you you watch this channel long enough, you're gonna see what I haul out of here. Got one. Oh, he let it go. Oh, I felt him shake his head. Oh. Man, he let it go. Let's see if I can't put it in front of him again. There's one. Got him. Good. This is a bigger one, I think. Yep, this is a good one. This is what we come for. Get away from that rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're there. They're there. Look at that slab. Oh, yeah. Good, Smalley. Not nowhere near done. Either. You got these fish this size. You got this current. 
This is the finest fishing you can do. Somebody's calling. this thing. Okay, I can't even, can't even see the hook. Check him out. There we go. Big small mouth. Look how beautiful that fish is. Big old healthy thing. Beautiful. Let's get on her. Let's get underwater release on him. Anytime you got a fish that swallows that hook like that, I couldn't even see nothing to work with, so it's better just to bite it. Let them, let time, it will erode out of their mouth. It, it, it doesn't hurt them, it won't affect his eating, it won't do nothing, it'll just, eventually it'll dissolve. So, I don't like to leave hooks but I'm not gonna jerk it and dig it out of his throat either. Got one. Oh my goodness. That one about ripped it out of my hand. There's one. Let go of it. Come back for it. Come back for it. Oh, another good one. Nah, not as big as the last one. But, oh, got the jump. Uh. No, don't get on that rock. Get away from the rock. Oh. Bring him in. All right. We got him. A little too. A little too rambunctious for that light line, but we got him. Another beautiful smallmouth, thick. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Smoked it. Let him go. He gone. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of bait. That fish initially missed the, like I jerked it out of its mouth. And when I stopped it, it come back and just engulfed it. got one more small piece of bait and two little weenie pieces of bait so this needs to be our best chance right here to go out on a mate Uh oh 
Uh oh, look there. Look at my rod. Oh, he left it. Fish left it. Uh oh, uh oh, look there. Man, they left it again. Bound to be about the nest. They, these fish don't, they don't leave a chub like that. They don't leave a creek minner. They're hitting it, this tap, tap, tap. Then you can reel your slack in and it's gone. They don't do that. Got one. Yep. Little dude. Little dude. Another little dude. Check him out. Look at look at that gut though, to be so little. Look at that. A chubby guy. Beautiful though. Love the lines. Beautiful. Mm. He gone. So, if y'all enjoy creek fishing videos like this one, uh, stick around. That is my absolute favorite way to fish. It doesn't get any better. Uh, didn't use anything expensive. I, I had the lose reel, uh, uh, speed stick, the orange combo. I think I got at Walmart, 50 to 60 bucks maybe. Uh, I like Revo. But I'm not bringing Revo's river fish and fall in and get water all in them and, and dirt and crud and just not happening. The bait was free. Just took a little time setting the trap, leaving it overnight. It does the work for you. If you get good bait, which I really didn't have, I had little bait. If my average bait would have been three to four inches, uh, I could have caught some hoss smallmouth. But if you like this kind of stuff, stay tuned to this channel. Uh, give us a like, give us a sub. Uh, we do this a lot. Uh, we river wade with live bait through the summer. And it there's trips where you'll have 60, 70, upwards of 100 fish per day using this live bait. Uh, and it is amazing, some of the footage that, that we'll get this summer, I'm sure. Stick with us. We'll see you on the next episode. We gone.